Hi everyone, this is Becky. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I did this really pretty summer makeup look for nighttime. Maybe you can wear it to the club or to a party or, you know, just a night out with your friends. Um, I basically did a smoky cat eye. I used my gel liner to line my upper lash line and I extended it um, outward and did that winged um, liner. And then I smoked it out and smudged it at the same time with a black eyeshadow using a pencil brush. And I did that and then I lined it again with gel liner and then I smoked it out and smudged it again with um, the black eyeshadow for that long lasting effect. So I did that like twice. And I paired it with hot pink lips. It's summer and it's a great time to experiment and play around with bright colored lipsticks. Um, you can use like a coral shade or peach. Those are really, you know, really fun and pretty shades for summer. So if you want to um, learn how to do this look, just keep on watching. So you want to start off with a clean and moisturized face, which I've already done. I applied my face lotion, my eye cream, and my lip balm, of course. And then next thing is I'm going to apply a base. Um, onto my eye and I'm just using my line smoothing concealer by Omni and I'm just going to blend that all over the eyelid up to the brow bone this will just even out the skin tone get rid of discoloration um, around that eye area and you notice I always do my eye makeup first and then I do my foundation and concealer last just because I'm more comfortable that way so if I get like fallout and stuff like that all over the face, um, it's easier for me to clean because I don't have anything on my face yet. So there's that. I'm just going to finish that with a powder. I'm just using my MAC um, Skin Finish Natural. There you go. So next I'm going to use an eye primer and I'm testing out my MARC Please Hold Eye Primer, which looks like this. It's a new um, product from their makeup line. And I'm just going to apply just a little bit all over the lid up to the brow bone, not too much. And this will just um, help your eyeshadow to appear more brighter and also help it um, from... Ooh, my dog is here, I didn't even know. But um, it will just um, prevent your eyeshadow from creasing, that's what Here's I'm trying to Here's the thing about me and eye primers. I find that whenever I use an eye primer by itself, it doesn't work. My eyeshadow creases, it fades, um, I don't know why. The best thing that works for me, which um, you saw me do, is I apply a base first and then I finish it with a powder and then I put the primer. And whenever I do it that way, my eyeshadow lasts long, um, it does increase and it works. Um, some people don't do it that way, but you know, do whatever works for you. That's how it works for me. So I just wanted to throw it out there. So there's next that. I'm going to use an eyeshadow that's really close to my skin tone. And that's what I'm going to use as an all over color. And I'm using my MARC um, Latte Eyeshadow just with my blending brush. I'm just going to apply that all over the lid up to the brow bone. And next I'm going to use my MARC eyeshadow in Stellar, um, this one right here, which is like a light yellow gold shimmery color with my shader brush and I'm going to apply it wet. I'm just using my MARC's Mist Opportunity, you can use water, and I'm just going to um, apply it all over the lid and this will serve as a background color to the um, smoky eyeliner that we're going to do later on kind of apply some a little bit on the inner corner too and the lower lash line okay onto the eyeliner I'm using my mark keep it going long wear eyeliner and shadow and entourage and this is the one with the um, with the black and the silver duo so I'm just using my liner brush by Sephora and I'm just going to dip that onto the black and this is just a matte um, black eyeliner and I'm just going to start um, in the inner corner it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to layer it and we're going to cover it up um, with a black eyeshadow and you want to make like a slight wing Okay, with a crease brush or any smudge brush, I'm going to dip it 
um, onto a matte black eyeshadow I'm using um, MAC Carbon and I'm just going to um, smudge it on top of that black liner gel liner just to smoke it out up to that wing that we just did and grab your gel liner again and we're gonna go over that one more time okay and make that wing again then connect it to the rest of the line so go over it again with that matte black um, eyeshadow up to the wing into the inner corner and line your waterline too with that gel liner Be very careful when you do this. And also um, on the lower lash line, but just halfway. Okay, starting from the outer corner, and I'm just going halfway in. And with your pencil brush or smudge brush again, dip onto that black eyeshadow and go over that liner just halfway so you want it to be really black and intense on the outer corner and you want it to fade um, slowly into the inner corner Okay, I'm back. I've lightly filled in my eyebrows with a taupe brow pencil. I have my false lashes on. I just used some really pretty dramatic ones. Um, I just love how false lashes can transform or just add more interest and drama to your eye makeup. It just completes the whole look in my opinion. I love false lashes. And onto the blush. I'm going to use two shades. One is a bronzer. Um, this one is by Milani. The Powder Mosaic um, and Afterglow. Afterglow with a W and my blush is by Mark and this is the after good glowing blush and after glow um, after glow without the W after glow like G L O it's funny they have like the similar name but I'm just going to mix um, the two of them together so just with my stippling brush I'm just going to dip just one right there because this is really pigmented and I'm just going to smile and dab it onto my cheeks or stipple. Okay. Okay, again. Just one stipple onto that blush. Top off the excess and stipple it onto the cheeks. So with just a nude lip liner, I'm just going to line my lips. the natural lip line and just fill it in as well and for the lipstick I'm going to use my Revlon matte lipstick in pink about it it's just a really pretty matte hot pink lipstick so get tissue and blot your lips just to get rid of excess oils and then reapply that lipstick And blot again okay so your lipstick should stay put so this is the finished look you guys um, I hope you guys like it try it out um, it's really easy it's really simple and really pretty for summer so I'll see you guys in my next video bye, -bye.